What's up guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to get mods for scenes in the forest. So the first thing you want to do is go into your internet browser and search up overwolf.com. So it's overwolf.com, you search it up, this page should come up. You click in the app store, you click onto search and search up thunder. Fundum Store Mod Manager, this one right here. Click on download. As you can see, I already have it downloaded, but it's literally a very, very quick installation. So, all you want to do is now go back into your downloads, right click, run as administrator, and click yes. So, this should come up. You just click your language and close these. Depending if you want Fundum Store as a desktop style, I'll be just doing that. Accept and install. And then you just wait for it to download. It takes like 30 seconds to download, so. Once it's done, you'll be able to click launch and you just wait for it to launch. And as you can see, it's now on my screen right there, if you saw. So when you're on here, you need to click search for a game, such as Sons of the Forest and select game. Um, select profile and you can see what if you click on get mods you can get see all the mods what you can get so far people put mods on here every day so um i usually have the mod menu so i can go god mode no fall damage la -dee -la -dee -da. um and then you don't need to have like the full damage because it's all in one with that infant inventory is really good because you can have more than what you can actually hold um fly it so you can fly the menu save i haven't got that yet um that's for teleporting back to where you want to teleport back to i can show you that in game you can um change the amount of people who can join your server from i think i think it's eight or nine to like 28 so far you can um clone kelvin you will also have to have the Bepin X configuration manager and then the Bepin X pack just so the mods actually work. The debug console, everyone should know what that does if you used it before. Um, like just get codes, spawn logs in, like, like that. Infinite zipline so you can infinitely zipline. Right. Now um, you need to find out if you have your steam connected up to this it should mostly automatically be connected up so you just scroll down until you find um the forest the sons of the forest dictionary and it should say program steam steam labs common sons of the forest if you want to know if it's if that's your like actual place um where your um sons of the forest app is located in your um library or you want to go into the Go on to Steam, click on to Library, right click on Sons of the Forest, Properties, Local Fires, Files and Browse. As you can see Steam Apps Common Sons of the Forest. Then go back here, Steam Apps Common Sons of the Forest, so then you know it's the right one. If it doesn't say that, then you just have to um, let me get it back up. If it didn't say that, then you want to um, go onto here and just find your way from local disk onto your Steam apps, the Sons of the Forest. And once you've done that, it should be working. Um, vanilla, um, it will be the unmodded version. And then modded is obviously modded, so let's load it up. Load it up.
Might take a couple of seconds if you don't have Steam originally loaded up. This should come up. We just leave it because it's just injecting the mods into our system. Oh, and while that's doing its thing, if you ever want to disable any of the mods, you come into the end, you click disable there, the blue line. Um, I've got a mod menu up there, or I'll do that later. Um, it might say it might say error, but just ignore that. And then your Sims of the Forest should be loading up. I'll go into single player for now. Okay, let's wait till I load in. So once you've loaded in, as you can see, um, if you click F1 menu, dig bug console comes up. And then behind it is the teleportation system. So I will be using the teleportation system in a minute. Um, it's a bit buggy at some times, so you're going to have to put your own code on for the teleportation system because you can change the key bind. Because obviously when you click F1, the bug console comes up. But if you did download the fly option, all you have to click is J. Well, we'll just click J, and as you can see, it might look I'm running super fast. But when you click spacebar and then control, as you can see, I'm currently flying. Unlike Wii Mud, um, Wii Mud you can jump high speed and all that. When this is just technically all in one because you're flying. Alright. If you want to spawn Kelvin in, you just click, I think it's Alt K, as you can see, and you can interact with each of one of them. And if you see like people online with like infinite lugs and all that, um, that's because they go into the debug menu. If it will open, sometimes it might not open, and that's normal. It's just a bug. But all you have to do to get infinite logs is search up on the debug menu log hack space OK, and then you sh a log should spawn in your inventory. Make sure you have nothing in your hand, and then you'll be able to spawn down infinite logs. All right, time to try the teleportation system thing. Thingy McGingy. If you just search up with ran random words up here, and then it should come up. As you can see multiplayer, you can change from 6 to oh, 25. So usually you can only have like 8 people, but you can change it to 25 people. Warps is the teleport thing. The mache is obviously the open thing. So I wonder if we can change it like this. I oh, know we can't. But you can just scroll down and just choose what your open menu for this will be. Warps is um, teleport, so let's just name this test. Create the warp will be right here. So if we was to say like, let me just close that menu. So I just clicked warp to be right there. So if I was to like fly over here, just drop. <coughs> Go back onto my menu. Um, click warp. I would have teleported back. Menu is really annoying sometimes. Um, back to the spawn, as you can see. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video or need any help, um, drop a like. And like I just said, if you need any help, just put it in the comments. And yeah, peace.